we already know uh, how variables are created and updated based on authentication two and three flows explained in previous sections. But let's look into process of verification, which happen every time when we try to create or update, uh, update the variable. So to some extent, we can say that caller of set variable uh, function handles authentication. So the caller assumes or, or claims that uh, data caller provide uh, is authentic, uh, but a set variable is used to perform authorization. So it checks if uh, caller is authorized to write to given variable. So uh, what are the checks performed when, when we using time-based authenticated write access uh, attribute? Then uh, like first thing is uh, verification of, uh, of format of data. Then uh, there is verification of timestamp. It is checked that if the timestamp is later than current value assigned to, uh, to the variable, uh, if there is any value uh, assigned. Then uh, there is check if the signature, if the hash signature is correct. Um, and at this time, both data and signature from set variable input is used for verification. Then uh, uh, there is check if target variable can be changed by the signer which signed the, the hash provided in set variable. During the check, there are a lot of special cases uh, which depends on the uh, variable type. Um, and there, is, there are different rules, uh, some may be even considered as backdoors, as we explained, for example, um, up and right can be, can be used in some rare cases. Uh, there are also secure boot variables, which uh, in um, setup mode um, can be written only if uh, some dummy authentication to the scriptor is provided. But those are some sp special cases use it for setting up new variables. If variable doesn't belong to any of special uh, special classes known to a UFI implementation, uh, we can call those those variables private authenticated variables. So those are user private authenticated variables which user can handle uh, with his own signature with his own uh, keys. Yes, and uh, such such variables obviously can be changed only by the owner of the of the key. If any of the checks, uh, format of data, timestamp, um, validity of the signature um, fail, uh, then there is EFI security violation error returned by said variable.